Um, there is nobody on live right now, but um, happy to have you here. Um, go Royals. They won today, finally. They've been having a slump. They're doing better. Um, <laughs> this is not a Royals podcast. I'm uh, arranging when you say nothing at all, and uh, the reason I put Allison Krause's picture on the page is even though this is not her composition, and she's not even, you know, there are plenty of people have performed this tune, and hers was really a cover at the time when she did it. Um, it's uh, it's really her version that I'm I'm hearing. You know, that's th that's the version that's that's uh, inspiring this chart uh, from the beginning stages. Now I am going to reharm. I'm going to really reharm it <laughs> uh, because the, the the chord progression is ha 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 ha. You got all the chords in there, or the choir stuff. But you know, uh, so that you know that one five four five bit. Um, isn't isn't going to fly for most groups in uh, in vocal jazz circles and so my job is then to let people do a very pretty tune while still um, singing some jazz chords and uh, singing against a rhythm section playing in somewhat of a contemporary jazz style now it's it's only somewhat because it's still going to have a, a, a kind of pop flavor to it i think um, but i'm kicking around a bunch of ideas and i truly am thinking of it um, i mean i'm really starting from as an, uh, from an arranging standpoint, I'm starting from square one on this. Um, I have done at least some of the work by writing in the tune. So, I mean, I've, I've at least sort of put the melody where I think it's going to go and when I think the solo is going to sing. Just a little bit of solo work on this tune. Second verse, like I often do. And then and then a little, uh, you know, a little thing here and there. Maybe some uh, light improv at the end or something. Not scatting necessarily, but... Um, but, but what I'm trying to decide, you know, the original tune is about quarter note equals 84, and I'm trying to make a decision if I want to um, find it a way to change the time signature to maybe do it in three. I considered that for a, a bit, but I, I think I'm still going to stick to four. I, I, I don't know. Um, what it's going to take is for me to play around and then pick an idea. And the thing I started with before um, you showed up is... <laughs> Um, and then this can work here. Uh, you know, I wanted to get those ideas out, but, but that's not really much of a theme. So I think I have to develop that a little bit more, and I'm, I'm going to try to consider that is the is a ba da da da, and then ba da da. Maybe, maybe a just two descending lines can be the theme in the in the accompaniment, uh, and then I can come up with some other stuff to go from there. And then maybe the singers can do that later. Just as you know, we need some sort of a theme that's unique to this chart. So what's the original? Mm. <laughs> it's amazing how you can speak okay so it's it's kind of that originally but um so we're going to try to do something a little bit um not sure exactly where to go with it but i i don't know that it totally works <laughs> I was just trying to be brave and sit with an idea for a little bit and see if it might work. So going to the the uh, C flat, it, it works here. So it's uh, so what I want to do. Uh, let me finish the what I was going to say is um, I want the intro to be a thing that that just goes right into uh, the verse, um, and then that can be something we end with as well. So it still sound it sounds a little more fresh, but um, still kind of sweet, you know. See, eh, that's a little too. Let's see. Mm. Uh, so. Um, but I want to. Well, I might be able to use the same whatever progression I write here can go uh, into these two bars because hard is gonna you know that's just gonna have the b flat hanging over it doesn't work with da da it's obviously not compatible with that so it'll be another thing on the second half i'm gonna have to decide where that works 
my concept is to have these two bars be the same um, and to get back to this. So maybe I'll just work on it from here. So let's do that instead. So the exact chord really is Ugh. Uh, <laughs> so I'm a little stuck on that, um, but Let's do that. I think that's pretty. Um, let's. I'm just gonna try to um, help the sort of the groove here. But let's see. Got to figure out the time and the tempo. Yeah, maybe that'll work. So be so be da, 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 da. So at least it winds up on the same one. Maybe that's okay as a theme. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, that's cool. So let's just go. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, invisible bar line roll, ladies and gentlemen. And let's just build that in. So F minor. Uh, how would that be played? Let's see. Yeah, so I can just leave the uh, dotted half note there. And uh, so let's call these what they are. F minor 11. This is, we're just going to call it C flat. Um, C flat major seven. Mm, this really is G flat major nine. Then <laughs> so this needs to work with. So what's our trick? What's our trick? Uh, we play the thing we need. And then we experiment with all the different uh, bass notes and then see what could work for that. So I need this to work here. So E flat over G, A flat major 9. Why is it the same thing? Oh, it is the same thing. <laughs> and then, so uh, nothing with that works. If I can go to, <laughs> try it, try it. does it does a minor two five into the Aeolian thing like E flat uh, two over G make any sense? I've never tried that. Let's see. So da, <laughs> it still doesn't work. Da. No, it sounds terrible. Okay, <laughs> just thought I would experiment with something a little cute there, and it's uh, it's not really a thing. Um, so, and then I've got to have. So unfortunately, that that means it's going to be. Pr it's it's not going to be much of a modal shift. And and really, my way out of this would be to go back a little bit further in the reharm and do something more interesting here. But see, the thing is, it's the same notes. Light up the dark. It's going to be matched up with that anyway. I mean, I can move this over, and you, we can just look at how this already settles in into the chart if I'm going to use it like this. So it's amazing how you can speak right to my heart. See, without saying a word, 
you light up in dark, dark. Yeah, see that that's that's cheating because it's it's gonna change the melody, and I I, I want to let it light up the dark. Well, I may go back on that. Light up the dark. Saying word, you light up the dark. Okay, I haven't really properly started to come up with solutions for this yet, so let's do it. Um, run through the gamut. It could be C minor, very likely. Mark. So C minor has da 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 in it. So let's play that. You can light up the dark. dark. I could do a C minor, or I could do C minor aeolian. that rehearsal when we get to it. I just want this to sound pretty and not contrived. Um, so you can light up the dark, dark. Oh, that's it. That's it. Obviously. Anybody out there was yelling D flat major? Um, you now know that it took me five minutes to get there. Sorry. I can light up the dark. Ooh, and that, that may... Ooh, this this will be sus. This will be sus. Uh, B flat 13, sus. And then this is going to be uh, C minor 11. Quick, quick, quick. What was the idea? Uh, D flat. D flat major 9. I always get scared. Uh, I don't want to forget it. Uh, and that's the only thing with notation, you know, on the computer. As, you know, if you're writing... If you're writing at the computer um, to your... You know, you're, you're going to face that sometimes uh, where it's a little scary. You're like, oh, crap, I got to do the notation part and uh, somehow get these ideas down that should be really sketched. Um, now, the, the issue here is going to be if I do a D flat thing, which I think I need to do. Well, actually, no, I don't have to. Uh -uh, uh -uh, I don't have to. I can do the same thing. I'm just repeat. I think that's a nice enough thing to repeat. Um, so let's put it here, and we'll do it several times. And then now we have, again, this is a thing that I've done before. So only the four bar vamp or repeated thing before um, uh, before we get to uh, before we get to the melody, um, and just repeat it. Yeah. So as opposed to trying to come up with something that's going to work for the whole transition into the B section of the tune, which that would need to do. I mean, it's a really short melody. Uh, I mean, well, it's ex I mean, a short verse, rather. So two phrases and then a third phrase. It's almost a blues. I mean, uh, it's 13 bars because it's a little ex you know, extra thing. So this tune has, and then it goes into a more extended, uh, uh, a little bit more extended uh, chorus. Well, not even that much of a chorus. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, yeah, eleven, twelve. So it, it, yeah, it's interesting. This is a blues. I'm just realizing. Why don't I just write it in the blues? So it's amazing how you can speak right to my heart. Yeah, uh -huh. without saying a word, you can light up the dark. <laughs> Try as I may, I can never explain. What I hear when you don't say a thing The smile on your face lets me know that you need me I'm choosing your eyes <laughs> It totally works <laughs> It has nothing to do with anything, but it would be really funny Okay, uh, this is how I waste time So I'm feeling that, and then some so I'll write singers in here. I don't mean to tell myself that, but singers in. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, and then uh, so it'll do some stuff, and then they'll hold on to the. Um, they'll hold on to something. It's amazing. Now um, I need to write the piano part. You, you can light up the dark. Let's do this. Bing, 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 bing. Um, shall we? How's the voicing? Okay. I think, you know, I wish I had better instincts as a pianist. Let's let this be a little bit of a building kind of. What do I do? I'll call this two, three, four. Boom, boom. Mm. Let's see. But I hear when you don't say a thing. So I depend, let's do a. Um, quickly, quickly, quickly. Um, but I need to write in the bass part or in the uh, left hand part first. So this is. It's something else. It's got to be more interesting than this. Can't it can't just go to five one? I, there's no way. We cannot do that on this tune. Uh, but this at least. It's kind of, it's a little poppy. Oof, I don't know, maybe. Right, let's, tr let's move forward so we don't lose a potential good idea. Um, what is this? Uh, what did I say? Oh, E flat two. Um, let's do this. I feel like I've played that card a bunch harmonically, but um, let's do this on the downbeat. Um, dun, dun, dun. Let's see. Dang it! I always do that. Um, dun, you know, let that be C flat. No, you know what? I can't now. That's the deal when you're writing this kind of modal business. You gotta make some decisions. What are things called? See, I'm gonna let those be called flat things. I'm just going to write in the way I would at least play this in, you know, pop style piano stuff. Um, so it's E, whatever, major everything. Um, is there any sharp 11 in that? Yeah. Is there actually a 13? Yes. Sharp 11. Okay. All right, cowboy. All right, B. Also, well, did I do the same? Yeah, I did the same thing. B major 13 sharp. 
So, um, this then is F minor. Not something we haven't heard yet. That's why I'm a little anxious. About it. That's why I had to add this bar. Just a little bit of a quick turnaround, because, um, I don't know. Everything, voicing needs to be good, um, and it still needs to be hip and pretty. So we have. Let's let them have their E flat here. Okay, let's make sure I'm not getting too close now to the real melody. Yeah. Of course not. Uh, am I just writing things that are related? Kind of. Dun, bum, um, um, it's pretty late related to that. Um, uh, you know what? I might have accidentally hit something. I was just kind of, in my mind, I was joking around about something. Smile on your face, let me know. <laughs> yeah, let's just do it. Let's let it be a jazz tune. Um, so uh, I need to write some stuff in. So uh, I'm writing all this low bass stuff in. Um, it could be. I'm gonna I'm gonna make some notation about if if bass and you know bass and drums are present then you like here you don't have to play left hand there's sometimes like the very beginning where you do but um, it's kind of needed but uh, in other spots that's that's gonna be all right i'll figure out how to make it be beautiful i mean it's it's jazzy right now but not i can't tell if it's beautiful yet Is if so we, these are all chords we've heard. We've set them up. E flat two or G. Is there a better voicing for? Sorry, fighting with the voicing here. Um, uh, I guess this will be a higher voicing. I I was finding that I was taking my voicings too low for a bit, but um, so this can be G thirteen. This is one of those that needs all of them, all of the fingers that you can play the piano with. Uh, D flat. This actually is is really a cheat for me. Like um, I can write the I can work out the counterpoint first. You can see me doing that left hand octaves. You know that that'll serve um, that'll serve as some some you know a bit of an accompaniment um, if if it's just piano and and vocals. Uh, so I want that to be an option for people, um, the way it's written in this chart. But uh, um, but it also helps to uh, mark everything for me as I'm kind of thinking of the ideas and the progressions um, that are going to help this chart out. So. None of the things I'm doing make any sense. Um, Please let me know that you need me. 
as you leave me to the truth and so I know that's C minor. What's the best? Standard voicing. Let's just do a move here. I think Julia would like that. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, figured it out. Ba, da. It's pretty, but not overly rehomed. Oh, and it's got it's gonna go back to B flat, I know, or something. But um, so to So that this is breaking my rule about. Uh, I'm gonna not be. I'm not gonna worry about the fact that there's a four against the three in this dominant chord here in the downbeat because I'm gonna let it. Uh, I'm gonna make it a unison thing. I think. Just saying you never. So it's a it's a sweet moment. Um, so this is. Um, let's see if it's gonna work. Yeah. Okay. All I know. I'm sorry. I'm trying to talk and think at the same time. It's a little challenging, but. C minor not I just yeah nine. Boo -ba -boo -ba -ba. I'll just do a little cre little crescendo. Oh, happy little crescendo here. So true in your eyes, say you. Maybe uh this this uh B flat. <laughs> See how it handles that? Why is it thinking in sharps? Huh. So this is show do 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 Yeah, should I do some crap like that? I mean, I feel like that's the surprise that we need here. So the touch of the touch of your hand. So yeah. And then we go back to that. Okay, sorry, I'm I'm really being quiet here as I explore these options here. I know it's not probably very fun for you. Um, gotta get there though. So I'm gonna reuse that pattern again. Uh, touch of your hands as you catch me. Minor eleven. Catch me. So I think we'll go ahead and do that. Ooh, 
Should I do a two bar there? Whenever I fall. Uh, yeah, let's let the uh, let's let this bar be two. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> One second. Try that time signature thing again. This time, let's do it. Uh, and then this will just be downbeat, and then. So I think that'll be pretty close to what the voicing is, too. Let's see. Bum. So this is See, almost. B plus three sus. B plus thirteen sus. Sorry. Uh, this is C minor nine. F minor eleven. Working backward here to fill in all my chord changes on this, uh, since I've got the piano part happening first. Uh, D flat. What major nine? Uh, this was D minor nine. Okay. I know I want that happening longer. Let's write some. Let's write some of the chart. Let's give ourselves some ideas. Inspiration here on. Oh. Did I close the I closed the window of the score. That's okay. Alright. So what do we have again? Oh crud. Let's I'm, I'm gonna write the bass part. First thing that does the bass is plays it there and then down the octave. And then boom. Actually I can do the same. Dun 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 until we until we get to here where it does not work anymore. Sorry guys, I'm not talking too much. I forgot that I hadn't done this yet. Let's see. So we've just come.
so I'm just making the bass part reflect with the uh, what the line is doing there now um, see here I'll just say play both hands here and I'll write it in here and then now I'll make let's make both of these a palette and then this I'll say, oh yeah. Let's see, when playing with bass player. Starting here, and then I can make this smaller, and then I can go ahead and italicize it. You could keep that left hand in. I, I don't know. I it's just it sounds okay, but it's a little redundant. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm just gonna write some stuff in. do that and copy yeah I just want symbols at the beginning right. I just don't know what the drums are gonna do later <laughs> I haven't quite worked that out yet. Mm. I guess um, uh, maybe the drums are going to go to... Uh, do they keep that up? I'd like to change the groove a little bit. Um, maybe it would be hip to go to hi-hat and rim knock snare. Doesn't that sound hilarious? I don't think I need to do it that much. Uh, <laughs> sorry. In fact, I only need two of these. Actually, I only need one of these because I'm going to make this look different. Uh, does this look better flipped? Yeah, that's fine. Um, hi hat and sell the chart. What do we sell? And rim knock. Um, let's see. Let's find out actually. Which tune just sold to me or somebody? This is how I find out. I get a little text message and I go, Dee, ba -dee, ba -dee. <laughs> um, Let's see, try that. So I think the drums can do that there and then, oh, I haven't even written the bass part in there yet. So what did they get? They get virtual insanity, an oldie but a goodie. <laughs> oldie but a goodie. <laughs> oh, it's because I wasn't paying attention. Okay, now we need to bone. I think I can still get it down. Get the low, the low stuff down. Let's see.
see what Janice had to say. Hi, Janice. <laughs> Can't wait. Yay. Okay. Um, that's Janice. There's still time for the start. You may not have to wait long. I uh, haven't put any core changes in. It's part of the deal. So I'm, what I'm kind of doing is... I do this differently every time, guys. I, I so right now I'm I'm getting um, getting the chart in pretty good shape uh, at uh, you know a, as far as I've got so far, and then I'll figure it out. So yeah, I'll go back in and write some. But it, I do it really differently every time. Sometimes I get really really fired up about ideas and I push forward on uh, because of the grind of knowing I've got now it's like a, it's closer to well it's still 30 charts ahead of me because I've added a few. Um, to the list for the summer um, because I know I got a lot of, uh, ahead of me. I um, it's a bit of a grind, and I you know so sometimes just to take a break from the creative process, I'll go back and actually just notate things uh, that I know are supposed to happen. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, not particularly exciting, I imagine, but this is when it happens. So um, so should we make this piano? I think. I'll go ahead and let it come up to mezzo piano for the singer's entrance, and then yes, we have to decide what the singers do. And it stays mezzo piano. It's amazing. It's really piano in, in the Alison Krauss version, but um, I'm just going to let the dynamic stay there. I don't want mezzo forte yet. And this, all we really want here is just a little bit more from the girls. And remember, this is a girls' chart, so um, well, you know all the decisions we're making about voicings when those start, which they have not done yet. Um, you know, I'll have to uh, have to be considering, and I may may even um, end up changing the key of the tune. Um, that's totally doable at this stage. Just probably some flats and sharps would have to be resolved a little differently. But um, all right, let's let's we have to get uh, get some voicings going. Um, so what are the singers going to do at the beginning? <laughs> Let's just do a unison line. So kind of a something a little hip. Yeah, and then let's give it a chord. The first chord is on the da da. I know it's a dot die, dot die, dot, dot, dun. Okay. And then these are. Dot, dot, dot. And yes, as we found on Travel and Light, when we write girls' charts, we write the words in on both top and bottom. So, whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, one could argue that I could say whoa here, no O, oh, and just write a tie, or a slur rather, and then whoa, slur again, and then whoa there, because whoa really indicates that. But I like to make sure it's clear. <laughs> uh, and, uh, you know, the space that ties take up, or uh, slurs rather, is enough that I don't, I don't know, I don't know how complete, anyway, I don't think it's, it's a huge difference with how you spell those. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know what, man? Let's leave this at piano. Let's actually revise this. Because this, I really want to be breathy and light here, which of course it will do at piano. And let's leave this piano. Let's leave it quiet. So I actually don't need these. I don't know why I left them. I'm going to change. And 
can try as I may. Let's look. Let that be a little more something. Give that a lift. Who knows if people really are uh, concerning themselves with the difference between, uh, but you know, look at the drums here. But yeah, the difference between uh, mezzo piano and mezzo forte are obviously pretty small in most people's minds. Um, and uh, I don't know how much that's communicated, but let me go ahead and give this, even though I've written dot and they're going to have to do a house top by the way the word's written, I'm just going to write it in anyway. And uh, let me fix this. This looks bad. Okay. Yeah. Love you, Sibelius. You're acting a little funny, but that's my fault. Okay. So no, no solo here. No backgrounds. It's amazing how you can steal right to my heart. So let's have them do the same figure except crescendo into the second phrase. Do you see how these are? It's do you, yeah. So from an instructional standpoint, since I'm doing a lot of mumbling to myself and writing, let me take a break to talk about this. Um, the the writing process, if you're if you're not into writing, or even if you are, you, you'll maybe agree with this. I don't know. Um, is so much improvisation. There's so much improv in writing, at least for being able to write quickly. Um, and so you sit at the piano and you, you sort of play an idea, and very often you go with your first one and then you move on. Um, you start to trust yourself more and more, and you have more trustable ideas as you go. And your notation um, method has to be pretty fast. Uh, you, you have to be pretty fast. So if you need to handwrite, you should do that so you don't lose the idea. Um, speaking of which, remember that I was going for this. A little light crescendo into this. Uh, whatever backgrounds we're going to have them do here. But they need to be in backgrounds, really, for most of the rest until the smile on your face, for this to be a vocal jazz chart. I can't, I'm going to have three bars <laughs> without uh, without backgrounds, but nope, we got to get right in that. So. so let's go. So I'll, I'll, I'll use the, f you know, if I'm going to write three part voicings, I'm going to use the best voice leading I can um, if I've got four people or four parts available to me. So you can see how that worked. So, da, da. so I've split the altos, but now they're back to one and then because it's an easier voice leading move. Da, da. So that's the reason. Um, so what do you have? and let this fill out even though the piano is not going to play it I want to let the piano keep doing what it does this is dues just you know oh how hard is this chart going to be I guess it's a three. I'm gonna write it a three. Yeah, if it's four parts, it better be a three anyway. It can't be a two plus or whatever. It's, that doesn't make sense. So, that'll sound great when Julie sings it. I just don't want to make people read that long. It's not fun. So, uh, yeah, we'll do something else there. One, two, hey. Ha. 
little figure. It would be very sweet. So now what do we have here? So this was cluster. So this is a building thing. Um. Yeah, let's do this. No, we need the layers. something else um los altos what are you up to uh, you meantime are doing do so that we're offset we're doing a building thing I feel like I'm ripping off old ideas, but the thing is, these are functional orchestration things for vocal jazz, so these are ideas that have been used a whole bunch, not just in my last couple charts, but I have done it sort of recently. I mean, this sort of... Let's just have the girls do this. It's a little different if they just kind of hit these and then, and then um, decay. G is as low as I'm going to go for the altos in this chart. I get complaints sometimes about my alto rating. And I guess it's, it's true that you it just because it's a girls group doesn't mean all of a sudden you have crazy low altos. You really don't, actually. Very oftentimes, um, your, your most gifted uh, you know, singers uh, are the ones who've developed their low range, right? Um, and very often, the girls groups are um, not necessarily the heavies at school. Now, they can be. They can be, uh, you know, my friend at... Uh, at Fairview, who just made a comment, um, and Boulder, um, you know, her, I, it's probably arguable that her most advanced group is her girls' group. I don't know if she thinks of it like that, but, but they're pretty, they're pretty slick. I mean, they're they're a good group. Um, so. feels so like every other chart I write, uh, doesn't it? But I mean, <laughs> it's what wor it works. I'm just getting a little sick of my own stuff. actually cleaner with just three voices anyway so we got God. so it's uh no nah, there's not enough time break here oh yeah what am I doing I need to build up to do da, the smiling face so this actually should be
feel like a nice build. Okay, so that's where we're going. Now, uh, backing up, finish this here a little bit. Do, 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 do. So we had. I can use the B flat and lead. I think this will be okay. They can handle the half step. They need to. It's a level three. You know what it means for the level three though is if I do this hard stuff here, I have to, I have to reuse it later it's going to be cut and paste um later on in the chart just to to cut down on the clock time in rehearsal um so that's you know that's one of the cheats really I, audiences aren't noticing that it's exactly the same i think they actually appreciate hearing some of these things exactly the same seems like a, a ranging cheat uh, it seems like a shortcut uh, but for educational charts it's actually pretty useful useful and um i think that a lot of times the arranger's ego gets in the way of them letting themselves do that and mine did for years and years Four years, <laughs> um, but I uh, I now feel more comfortable with that, and I mean I have for a while actually. Um, so these these are do's do 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 do. I'm gonna write it. No, I need to write these out. Oops, that's where we went wrong. Well, I don't like the B flat 13 sus where it is right now. These are okay. Hmm. Of course. Come on. Work your way up to it. Easy. Maybe I should go with three note voicings here. It's an audition lick. That's hipper. So if I go with the second alto. I want a four-part chord here, but it also makes for a nice uh, crunch and dissonance before. So let's put it in place. Um, Let's go here, just all ha's. Um, I 
break a rule of notation deliberately here by not always when things get a little messy there's crescendos and there's slurs and I've got you know I would normally have the underscore line thing that says hey keep singing this note or this syllable um, I really think people know that I think that it's extraneous um, a little bit so I've got them on these duos and I haven't removed them and it's okay I've got it on this ha huh? it's okay because but the way things are laid out I just uh, prefer not to have that line there. I could have it, but see what it looks like. It just adds some clutter that I don't think is necessary, so I get rid of it. Um, let's just change the position of the word a little bit, but that's okay. All right, let's write. The smile you gave me is my memories. Oops. This is where I, I find out what, I mean, I'm learning while you are what the notes are going to be. I don't really know. I kind of have to figure out from the reharm and reconcile. Let's be so that's going to be, that'll be interesting. <laughs> Oh, can I flip it? <gasps> it works. I never tried that. Ah, my God, you can flip. Uh. Let's see. So this is that's important that to know that that's a slur. It's important that that's communicated well. But but I need this tie there. Let's see, and then let's get into me. Ugh. Okay, so the need is, uh, need is really tough with the way the melody is. Um, because of going from the root to the seventh, it means that, um, because I actually had this on the wrong spot. It's need me and crap doesn't matter about you you can i can deal with but i think i need to do oh uh, i think i need to do a uh, uh i don't know first of all what's in the need chord the i guess it's going to be pretty stock there's not much room for anything else Ugh. I'm not liking this at the moment. Um, oh, I really don't like it. I really don't like it. Um, I, I saw this coming, man. I saw this is going to be gross to voice. So that you need. So let's just let's just do need me in a unison. Me. Yeah. You saw it here. I just cheated. I mean, it's it's an arranging cheat, but I mean, it really is like about my best option there. And I think it'll be, I think it'll be good musically. I think it'll have a nice effect, but that's not why I did it. It's to reconcile my rearm. And now I can leave it is the same because that'll be gone you need me, you need, need me, need me. or two part need me, need me. yeah do that because it doesn't get into all the d flat stuff because it's just really gross otherwise need me. so now i don't need the slur i just need a tie let's see oh What's it? Smile on your face and let's be know that you need me, need me. Yeah, okay, you can make it. Can you do? Can I do anything to help you? That, that you, that you need, that you need isn't any easier. That you, that you. 
Oh, but... Yeah, I mean, if it's gonna suck, I might as well put... If that voicing's gonna be in... So obvious. So obvious. Mm -hmm. And same thing's gonna go down here. Let me get my words so I can see how that's gonna fit. Um. This is where, oh, I know what I'll do. I'll, s I'll split up the second soprano. Uh, this will be okay. Yeah, this will be okay. Uh, blah, blah, blah. So now I need you girls to be in layer two. So that then I can go. I think so. I think so. It's funny, I'm not really sure. Um, the touch of the touch of Yeah, that'll be okay. Now uh this I'll bring down a little bit. This I'll erase. Um So it's dot do. This is more of a straight ahead vocal jazz chart for me. I've been writing slightly less, like a little more unusual stuff for the past few days or past week or so. This is uh, yeah, this is more straight ahead vocal jazz. What in the world have I done with all this? <laughs> Touch. Thank you. Good grief. Okay, so what's the rest of voicing? Uh, that's the easy part. So, um, Carrie, you're making this hard to uh, make a level three. Um, but I, I do think it'll be there. I, I think it'll be okay with the part tracks and the fact that this will repeat. I think we're okay. Boy, what have I done with the dot do? <laughs> that on a t-shirt what have i done with the dot do oh man come on line that up dude okay i'm just gonna write these in dot do and crescendo implied decrescendo even though they're just gonna play what they're gonna play but You can make an argument that this, yeah, I think you, you can make a successful argument that this is actually where we need that line to help communicate that. Um, now, uh, uh, a touch of your hand. Uh, uh, a touch of your, touch of your hand. Touch of your hand. Let's do, let's do a really sweet two-part thing. A touch of your hand. Says, and then we gotta watch out for says you get like open fifths kind of sound weird, but maybe says you says you catch me, catch me. Let's get to four part on catch says you. This is 
actually what this is. Okay, we'll figure out fall in a second. That's where the voice saving gets weird. Uh, says you'll catch me. Let's go there on me. me if, if I think I can do this. Uh, thirds. Ever, 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 nope. Ever, Oops. That's definitely not the note. Thought, thought, yeah, see? This will work because they'll hold it right on the downbeat. And then they have to... I know I can flip. Oh my god, that changes everything. Holy crap. I know I can flip slurs. If the slur goes to the bottom, I was doing all kinds of things to get it up top. And then, yeah, you just move it. You just use the flip button that you use. Um, what is it, X? The same thing uh, flips stems. I'm going to go hip and go with the 11th here. Could do that. Well, that's actually easier and higher, and I prefer it. So it was hip, but it was going to be it was going to be hard to deal with. And I know it goes there because this only can go here. Nobody can tell the difference between that as a slur and this is a tie, but there is a difference. It's really subtle. Can you tell like that that this line seems to start? It's oh I can't even I I don't even know if that's really a thing. But whatever. Fa I'm gonna crescendo into this. And then give this three beats to decrescendo. Give this three beats decrescendo. Or rouse. I got another comment. No, I thought I did. I got a comment on something else I wrote. Oh, just on. Uh, oh, she says, love that song. I know. Hi, Pam. Pam may not be there. But I'm saying hi to her anyway. All right, uh, you say best. Uh, beep beep doop beep doop beep beep. Beep. Um, you say, uh, let's see. You say it best. 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 That's two part again. You say it best. Get some words up in here. When you say Let's go ahead and, again, my ego is getting in the way of doing the right thing. And, and I really, I'm just trying to make this too hip. So, I like that voicing for this, for B, woo, way. So, and then I need to write in the B flat uh, 13, B flat 13, and the big chord. Yeah, 
maybe I'll get everybody up to that. You say you say nothing at all. Why not? When you say nothing at all. Ooh, let's do that with the altos, huh? Ha, da da. I won't hit that. Bonka chu ha. This is so fun. This is. It's not really that bad. It's gonna make for a really pretty sound. I know. I can't wait to hear Julia on this. I, I always say that. But um. Hey Zach, you're there, buddy. Of course you are. How about for you? Need so he's gonna give me some ideas. I'm gonna finish this really quick before I forget it. Uh, da, da. So here's that same dot dot, and I'm gonna go find. The dot dot, I'll just reuse it, except I'm going to make it shorter. Let it be shorter. And let's see, is this all good? Let's see, am I done? Oh. Uh, da, da. Oh, I guess that's everything except for the ha here. Uh, da, da. Crescendo into that a little bit. Let this trail off a little bit. And then ba, da, da. I gotta figure out the dynamics and all this stuff. Okay, now. I am ready to learn from your knowledge, Zach. And Zach says, how about for Need Me, you go to the uh, G7 Alt on Need and D flat 9 on Me with the half step crunch at the bottom of Need. Okay, let's look at that then. Oh, yeah. In the, in, yeah, in the, in the G7 Alt will match better with the D uh, flat 13. Sharp eleven, anyway. Oh, you know, um, I could, could do that. Yeah, that's a good call. In fact, I feel like I just used that someplace. Uh, all right, let's do that, Zach. You win this one again. <laughs> Do you love it? This is great. It's so interactive. Uh, but you're right. Actually, it's a much better choice. Because I was like. Well, eh, kind of, but don't you like that? Yeah, I mean, the thing you would miss then is the, and I was. this is almost the thing I was excited about, was the fact that you have that, or, you know, at least that motion. So I, I kind of liked where the 13th was going in the 9th and how they did that. Um, know that you need me. This way, I know that you need me. So I can leave them in. No, but you know, I actually think that. I think actually, that your solution is still better because it leaves them in four parts, and it'll it'll be better to be more consistent, uh, sound wise. So let's try it. I'm gonna write this um, C flat. Yeah, but they work with what. And it's a good solution. Um, G seven alt. And then I need to do. That's going to be a tough chord to play physically. But I, I need it to be different. I need some uh, pian the piano to have some motion. I was thinking B flat on the lowest voice, A flat on me. Oh, that's right. Oh, uh, I see. Um, need me, need me. I see. It's more interesting because there's motion, even though it's a less uh, hip note going to the fifth. 
Um, need me, there's a need me, there's a need me, there's a. All right, let's do it. Need me. Oh, that's not, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, good call. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a truth, and then there's a truth, and then actually there's a truth. Um, there's a there's a truth, there's a truth. There's a actually, here's what I'll do: make the voice eating better for the oops for the uh, alto twos, but I, I don't really necessarily. Da -da 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 -da. It's a little bit wonky, literally wonky. Uh, a flat sounds way cooler over the G7 alt and yeah 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 exactly. Well, and I could do it reverse too, right? But the voice is in his hip. Um, Did you need me, me, need me, need me? See, that's like sort of the um, that's the that's the real geeky way to write that. But I think that the way that it'll touch the heart a little bit more is need me. So it goes with. So I think your idea is better. Your initial idea is better. Um, yeah is a good point no i, th I think that's that's very good man um uh, thank you thank you for that i really appreciate it i'm gonna put the mp in here i love it i'm taking all your suggestions <laughs> taking all your requests and suggestions at kmvj studios actually we just talked about uh, doing kmjd <laughs> that's what i heard in my head it's <laughs> It's angsty, <laughs> and I know it. It's I know you need me. I mean, right? I mean, it's it's about a smile <laughs> and truth. Here's. That's okay, and that and because it does this, I feel like that's so endearing that it goes to the dominant. And now this is gonna sound more like home. And that's pretty wonky. But I've already, so that's why I'm saying I can't do too much more wonky stuff because of the D minor. I'm just realizing that um, I really write this way. Like if you're if you're an outsider, and, and I'm not even super, super sure how to write like other people now. I've been writing like myself so long uh, with, with these particular reharm techniques and, and this style. I mean, and I really need to figure it out because there are times when I'm, I really need to write stuff that's uh, either more straight, more straight ahead, more patient with with the harmony and all that. Um, yeah, oh, I'm glad you dug it. See, I thought that was a Zach moment going to the D minor. Zach says he digs the D minor because of the E. Uh. And so I have stuff in the lead that we're we're so we're not supposed to do. I make my arranging students not do it. Yeah, um, but. Um, uh, you know, w I, even though we're not supposed to do it, it, it's it's one of the best things to do with with taste, at least if you can if you can get it in just the right spot. I love the uh, the sort of shock to the ears that that creates the half step in the lead anytime you can do that. So it just takes a little bit of being judicious, um, and I think you're good. All right, I got to figure out what I'm gonna do with the. Uh, oh, I said G alt. That won't do very well. Will it? Uh, I figure out what I'm going to do with the drums. Well, I'll write the drums later, man. Um, let's see, hour and a half. I think we're in a good, I think we're in a good place here. Um, I don't want to leave while I've got Zach on board. Zach, dude, come back next time. I know you, I know you, uh, have a busy life too, but come back. I need you. Um, and, uh, anybody else who wants to contribute some ideas out there as well, I think you may have to register with the website to contribute on live stream as it's uh, to chat on live stream, but you can always twit at me. Uh, you can always throw a, tw uh, you know, a Twitter um, post. I, I, th may, I may need to f be following you, I'm not sure, um, but that's cool. Uh, just just uh, to do a DM you do, but if you wanna just post it, you can just, you just do a mention thing and I'll see it. Maybe that's what Zach's doing. Do I follow you, Zach? If I don't, I'm such a jerk. I better follow you. Yeah, I follow you. <laughs> okay, good. Um, all right. The uh, let's see. I don't know exactly. Next time I'm gonna write, I might come back down. I'm gonna I'm gonna go get some. Uh, what time is it? Dinner. <laughs> I never pay attention. I just eat food. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go uh, I'm gonna go get some dinner and uh, take a bit of a break. I might come back later. Um, or Julia might be using the studio to record. 
uh, later as well. So uh, I'm not exactly sure. But uh, we did finish common threads. I, I got that chart done. Uh, that was off camera. I just I just knocked out a, a pretty much a transcription of the thing. Uh, really, I tried to arrange things nicely, but um, and it's gonna be really, really, really gorgeous. I can't wait. Here's really on it. Um, there is a new chart that is so Holocene uh, had license troubles on that um, I, long story and I won't even get into it but I thought I had the license it turns out it didn't and then when I went to try to get it uh, there's a delay at least or at best and, and maybe worse um, but um, what else is new um, other stuff oh I wrote so yeah yeah uh, oh that's it and then travel and light which um, uh, Julie recorded her vocals on travel and light but that'll come out at the end of June because we're waiting for our drummer Matthew Chalmers up in Toronto, uh, he's he's on a long out, uh, month of vacation, you know, so he's he's gonna play a little bit later. You don't need all that info, maybe you do. I don't know. Anyway, um, so he's gonna play later. So I'm kind of waiting for anything with rhythm section like this. They'll actually come out like around July first or so, uh, once he's got a chance to play it. But uh, anyway, uh, there'll be a lot of those actually, and and many of them won't be released. Many of them will be commissions. I won't write every commission on camera, but I'll write. Uh, you know, plenty of them as uh, on camera. So uh, just keep looking out. Uh, we'll see you a little bit later, and we'll pick up verse two.